take shape. Your life choices didn't define you. They shaped you. And anyone who exercises knows they can restore strength and change their shape. We all get injuries from time to time. Emotional, physical, material. We cling to pains of the mind and body like trusted friends who always tune in because they do. Some people who have lost limbs have experienced phantom limb pain. Mental pain is as real or more real than physical pain if your focus is consumed by it. If you feel broken down by life, take the time to heal. Notice if you are stuck in mental stories creating phantom pain presently. Healing happens when you create space and attend to what hurts. Take time to notice what needs of yours are not fulfilled and consider what fulfillment of them will look like and feel like to you. Your mind and body are your greatest resources, supported by your ever-present unconscious mind. How have your curious child mind and temperamental teenage mind been feeling lately? How are they forming? Would they benefit from practicing more loving, confident, giving postures? The severity and frequency of emotional, physical injury ranges from person to person. Tolerance for violence or misalignments ranges as well. If you are in a victim orientation, you are at risk of taking on other people's problems as your own. Victims to life are often competent and capable. They enjoy giving, but do it at the cost of themselves because they aren't clear on their worth. They are liable to control through worrying, managing, helping. We can't control others. We can only understand them according to our own internal guiding spirit. When we help others in a way they can help themselves, we actually send the message we don't believe in their capabilities or we know better. If we know better, they know less. You may think you know what's better for someone's life, but they have to receive that understanding in their own way for it to change their shape. Let life experience be the teacher. Not everyone is ready to graduate from a present energy pattern and take the form that you want. Learn to regulate yourself, not others. Let others change form at their own pace. Focus on your energy and be wise. Take your shape intentionally. Abusers are on guard, never fully transparent with their motives, often not even to themselves wanting to gain from others with little or no regard to mutual benefit. They feel entitled to the resources, whatever they may be, time, energy, money, emotional states. They work in the dark, not in the light. When you hide aspects of yourself because you think if others knew they wouldn't accept you, you, my friend, are hiding in darkness. That is a dissociated way of connection. If you think your partner will leave you because you cheated so you don't tell them, you are manipulating their goodwill for your gain. That's abusive. The depth of darkness and hiding ranges, but even surface hiding and editing creates inner, outer incongruence. What do you hide from others so that you can continue accessing their cultivated resources? Notice the energy exchange in relationships. Does it feel balanced? If you are stuck in the victim-abuser dance cycle, know it's your attention to the energy that keeps recalling it into your life. It's often back and forth dance of you hurt me, I hurt you. Where you put your attention and focus is what matters most. You are a co-creator. Consciously give and receive with mutual care and respect for others and their resources, as well as your own. If you can't, space.